Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. Okay, so this is the garment we are going to be making. That's it. Okay, now that you've seen the cardigan that you're going to be making, um, it for a large, I used one cake of this, and as you can tell, a little bit into the next one. Um, the only part that I had to use out of this was for the front trim and for the two sleeves, the trim on the sleeves. Um, otherwise, it did the whole cardigan. So I had to dig into another cake of this. But for this tutorial, I used a Caron cotton cake. Um, it is a medium four weight. The color on this is silver cloud. It is 60% cotton, 40% acrylic, machine washable and dryable. And um, so I used that. I used most of the cardigan is done with this J hook, 6.0 millimeter hook. And the trim on the edge and on the, the um, shoulder seams and on the sleeve, it was done with this G 4.0 millimeter hook. So you will need those two. You'll need a pair of scissors. You'll need a um, yarn needle. And you may need a stitch marker. Um, if you have a row counter, that would be nice as well. So one of the things I wanted to go over with you real quick is that um, whenever we are working a chain three at the beginning of a row, it counts as a double crochet. And if we are working with a chain five at the beginning of a row, it counts as a double crochet and a chain two. And if we work a chain four at the beginning of a row, it counts as a double crochet and a chain one. So keep that in mind. You will be doing that at the end of every row. You will either be chain three, chain five, or chain four. Now, um, I'm going to tell you like the how to do this as far as the multiples because I'm not giving any measurements because that's all up to you. You just need to measure basically from side to side um, and then make your chain that, that width according to the yarn that you're using because this doesn't have to be in a four weight yarn you can do it in a three weight two weight whatever you want to use um it doesn't even have to be done in these hook sizes i would suggest going down two hook sizes so it doesn't matter what hook you use this is completely up to you the length can be whatever length you want it it just depends on how many repeat rows you do uh, and like i said the width can be whatever width you just, you know, make it however wide or however, you know, however you want it. Um, but I will tell you what the multiple is, and then you can just have, make however many chains you need. The multiples is six plus three at the end. That's all you've got to do. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. This here is the stitching that we're going to be working on today. So let's go ahead, go ahead and chain, uh, do your little math and uh, figure out how many you think you need to chain. And because um, one thing that comes into factor, you don't have to use a four weight yarn. You can use literally any size of yarn you want. And so that will come into factor as well as your hook, as well as your tension. Um, so that's one way, one thing that everybody is going to be different because everyone crochets different. I'm just giving you the pattern is what I'm doing. Okay, so now what you need to do is um, single crochet in the second chain from the hook and single crochet all the way across. And make sure you keep up with how many single crochets you have because you'll need to know that when you get ready to do that single crochet edging on the top. You'll want to make sure you have the same amount 
that you do on this bottom row right here. Okay, when you get to the end, that was row one. Okay, now that you got to the end, you're going to um, chain one. You're going to single crochet in that same stitch that you um, did the chain one and then single crochet in the next stitch. Then you're going to chain four. You're going to skip the next four stitches one two three four and in the fifth stitch you're going to single crochet single crochet in the next stitch chain four skip four single crochet in the next two chain four Skip four, single crochet in the next two, chain four, skip four, and you're going to repeat that pattern. And then you should end with two single crochets at the end of yours, your row. And that was row two. Now for row three, you're going to chain three, turn your work. You're going to work two double crochets, a chain two and two double crochets in this chain four space right here. So two double crochets, chain two, Two double crochets. There you go. And you're going to repeat that all the way into each of your chain four spaces until you get down to those last two double crochets. That, I mean, last two single crochets you made on the end. So go ahead and do uh, work. Two double crochets. Chain two. Two double crochets. In that chain four space. And then we're going to do it again in the next chain four space. And then the next chain. And just keep working. Okay, when you get down to the last two single crochets on your row, you're going to skip the first single crochet and you're going to double crochet in the last single crochet. Just like that. And that's how that row looks. Right there. That was row three. So for row four, we are going to chain five. Turn our work. Okay, so now we're going to work two single crochets in this chain two space. Two single crochets, chain four. Two single crochets in that next chain two space. Chain four. And you're going to continue that pattern all the way across. There's the chain two, chain two, chain two. So each of the chain two, you're going to work two single crochets and then chain four. Two single crochets in the next chain two space, chain four. Two single crochets in the next chain two space. Just keep repeating that. And then when you get to the last one here, the last, um, 
sing, uh, the last two single crochets instead of chaining four, we are going to chain two. And then we are going to double crochet in the last stitch. So there we are. That was row four. So row five, we are going to chain four. Going to turn our work. We're going to work two double crochets in this first chain two space, two double crochets. Going to work two double crochets, a chain two and two double crochets in each of these chain fours across. So two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, just like that. And so you go to your next chain four, work two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, just like that. Go to your next chain four, two double crochets, okay, and then just like I said, just follow it all the way, just continue that pattern all the way to till you get to that last um, double crochet and chain. And just follow that all the way till you get to your last chain four. And then when you get to the end there, you are going to work two double crochets in that last chain space. You're going to chain one and work a double crochet in the top of that chain that you did. And that's what we look like now. That was row five. And um, so you have one, two, three double crochets on your end and three double crochets on your end here. You have one double crochet on the end here, one double crochet on the end here, same here. And then you have your two uh, single crochets on both ends here. Okay, so for row six, we are going to start off with a chain three. And remember, your chain three represents a double crochet. If it's chain four, it's a double crochet and a chain. And if it's chain five, it's a double crochet and two chains. Okay, so we chain three. Now we're going to double crochet in that chain one space that we did right there. Like a double crochet. Now we're going to chain four. We're going to work two double crochets in this chain two space. You know, earlier we did single crochet in it. Well, now we're working double crochet in it. Chain four. And then we're going to work two double crochets, chain four, two double crochets, chain four, two double crochets. You're gonna do that all the way across. And I just, I wanna remind you that this is the same pattern that you're using for your one large back panel and for your two smaller front panels. So we chain four. Now we've found our next chain two space. We're going to work two double crochets. And if I'm going too fast, you can always put me on slow mode. You can pause me, whatever. Okay, so now two double crochets in that chain two space. And you just repeat that up to your last chain two space right here. Okay, we, I did my last chain two space. So what I'm going to do is chain four. And then when I get to that chain one space right there, I'm going to double crochet in that chain one space. And then I'm going to double crochet in the top of that chain.
That was row six. Okay, and you see how we got two double crochets on that end, two double crochets on that end. So we have two double crochets there, chain four, two double crochets, chain four, two double crochets, chain four, and all the way across, that's what we have. Okay, so to start row seven, we are going to chain three, turn our work, and now we're going to work in our chain four spaces here. And we are going to work in our chain four spaces. So we're going to work two double crochets, a chain two, and two double crochets in each of these chain four spaces. So two double crochets. Chain two. Two double crochets. And I did it in one of the chain four. Now just continue across. That. Okay, when you get finished with your last of your chain four, you should have each of your chain four, you should have two double crochets, a chain two, and a two double crochets in each of your chain fours. Okay, so when you get down to your last two of your double crochets, you're going to skip the first double crochet and you're going to double crochet in the top of this double crochet, which is actually a chain, but you know, the chain three represents a double crochet. Okay, so that's the end of row seven. And you should have one double crochet on each end. Okay, so uh, now you just make this as many rows as you want. Um, your repeat rows are rows four through seven. You just keep repeating rows four through seven till you get the length that you desire. I ended up doing my repeat rows a total of eight times. Ended up getting about 26 and a half inches when I repeated rows four through seven about eight times. So just continue this uh, till you get the length that you desire. And like I said, your repeat rows are rows four through seven. So once you get to um, as far as you want on your length, you will go ahead and switch from your J hook to your G hook, your 4.0 millimeter hook. And so what we are going to do is work one single crochet all the way across. We're going to do that three times. And um, so like I said, this here, everybody's amount will be different. So we're going to go ahead and chain one and you will need to turn your work And you will work one single crochet in each stitch across. Make sure that you have the same amount of stitches. Now what I do is whenever I'm in the chain two, I go ahead and just um, single crochet two in that, those, that chain two space. Instead of single crocheting in the chain. But anyway, um, back to make sure you have the same amount of single crochets across as you have when you did your first row of single crochet on the very bottom. So just like this, you just work a single crochet all the way across.
And don't forget that your last single crochet will be on your chain up. The top of your chain. There we go. Okay, so we've done one single crochet row. And so you're going to chain one. You're going to turn your work. And now you're going to work a single crochet in every stitch across. Just like that. Okay, I will meet you back after you've done a total of three. Total of three rows of single crochet. Now that you've done your three rows, go ahead and fasten off leaving a long strand so that you can attach this to the back. Let's go ahead and lay our back side and our front side. And if you want, you can use some of these little clips. Just kind of helps hold it down, keeps it from sliding all over the place. Okay. All right, so now we are going to uh, just slip stitch these together. So get your yarn needle. And uh, thread your yarn needle. And let's go ahead, and you will do this to both of your fronts. You'll put one on this side, and then one your other half on this side or here. And just go through um, both stitches, which would be, you get two on that side and then two from the front side. Just like that. And just remove your little clips as you work along. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and tie mine off. And just um, now it's time to weave it in. Okay, so now I'll just fasten that off. Now you will need to um, put your other one, once you finish this side, put your other one on this side. And here's what it looks like once you turn it inside out. That's going to be on your shoulder. Okay, so now what you need to do is to mark your arm hose. Now I like to leave uh, anywhere from seven and a half to eight inches for an armhole. And you need to make sure you get all these little holes together. That way um, your outfit's going to be even. So I'm going to kind of do that a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and mark. I'll go ahead and do um, seven and a half. So about right here. So I've got to stitch all the way up to that point. So now I can let these go because um, I've got it right there. All right, so now you've got to go from the bottom or you could write where we had left off, it doesn't matter. But now you need to put, because we're going to start down here. So I would start putting your clips to keep, make sure that they're even. And like I said, I kind of match up my holes is how I do mine to make sure they're even. And I'm going to do that all the way up to where I need to stop. So just continue doing that. So if you remember, I said I need to stop at the bottom of the pink. So that's right there is where I'm going to stop um, seaming mine up. Okay, so go ahead and cut you a long strand. And thread your yarn needle. Okay, so you need to kind of weave it in here. And I want to go. There we go. Back in and then I kind of tie it in a knot right there. Right at the end. All right, so now you just do like you did at the top. Make sure you get these even. And we're just going to, once again, just kind of go back and forth. I'm gonna seam it up, slip stitch it across, whatever, however you word it. Just make sure you're getting um, both pieces in your, when you're stitching it. Like, don't just stitch this. Make sure you're getting this piece right here with, right there. Make sure you're getting this side with it. Because if you don't, when you get through, you're going to have a big hole. Wherever you did that at. Right here at my marker, I'm going to do a little knot right there. I can remove that. Now I'm fixing to weave this in. Okay, fasten it off. Now see you have your armhole. And you have seamed up your side. Just like that. Okay, so go ahead and attach your other side. So now that you got your shoulder seam seamed up and you've got your side seamed up, we are going to um, go ahead and crochet up all around the right side around the neckline and back down on the left side. And we are going to just do a half double crochet all the way around. We're going to do this with a G hook, a 4.0 millimeter hook. We are not going to do anything to the edge. The edge is very pretty just by itself. 
if you feel like you need a little more length when you um, do this, you could always add some more single crochets at the top. Let's go ahead and start this. Just start on the very end. Just find that corner piece. Insert your hook and grab your the tail that you have, wrap it or yarn over, insert it through that loop just like that. Now go ahead and chain one. All right, in that same stitch, we're going to make two half double crochets. And then we are going to half double crochet all the way up the side here on the right side. Now a lot of this you are working in the chain on quite a bit of this. So if I were you, I would not, when you're working in the chain, I would not work over the chain. When you get to the last stitch, go ahead and put two half double crochets in that stitch. Okay, go ahead and chain one. We're going to go back up around the, all the way around again. And we are still going to work a half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Now it's going to be a lot easier this go around because uh, you're actually working in some stitches. So I hope you tried this on and you know, to make sure that it's laying flat and if it is, then just go ahead and continue on this second row. Now we are going to work a half double crochet all the way around, and then we are going to fasten it off, and that will be all that we have for the front. And then uh, we will do the little border on the sleeves. So I will meet you when you get to the other side. So when you get to the very end, go ahead and fasten off. And if you feel like you need another row or two because you want it a little wider, you know, that's up to you. You can always do that. Go ahead and um, thread your yarn needle and weave in the ends on the back side or on the inside. Here we go. Okay, so now we're going to do the sleeves. Okay, so on your sleeves, make sure you've got it on the inside out and you're just going to start from the bottom underneath here and you're going to work your way all the way around with a half double crochet. Still using the G hook Grab that back, your tail yarn back there. And go over your hook and insert it through that loop. And then chain one. And then half double crochet in that same stitch. This is going to be the same process as when you went all the way around the front of the cardigan. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to crochet in the chains. Just like that. Okay, I will meet you all the way when you get to the end. 
When you get to the end, slip stitch to the top of that half double crochet, just like this. Now you are going to chain four. One, two, three, four. That's going to be a double crochet and a chain one. You're going to skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip the next double, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. You're going to repeat this pattern all the way to the end. Skip a stitch, double crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet, chain one. You're going to do that all the way around. And when you get over here, if you have a stitch, you have two stitches left or or something that, you know, where it's not following the pattern, just go ahead and stop and um, I'll show you how to fix that when you get to that point. Okay, I did my double crochet chain one and I'm left with two stitches. And so instead of Normally you would skip this and, and double crochet in this, but this is in the very next stitch. So what I'm going to do, since this is under the arm, I've got my chain one. I'm just going to slip stitch into the top of that chain three. Because see that fourth chain is my, it's like a chain one. So see. Okay, now at this point you can go ahead and fasten off. If this, you know, you probably need to try it on and you can fasten it off if you like this length and if you want it a little bit longer we're going to go ahead and uh, chain four again one two three four chain four represents a double crochet and a chain one and we are going to skip this chain one space we're going to double crochet on top of the um, double crochet stitch just like that chain one double crochet skip that chain one and you're just going to chain one chain one double crochet in the top of each double crochet around just don't forget to chain one okay I'll meet you when you get to this last double crochet Okay, so now we've done our last chain one. We're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three because the fourth chain is our chain one. So we're going to slip stitch. We're going to chain one. Now from here, we're going to just work a single crochet in each stitch around. So you want a single crochet in the chain one stitch and single crochet in the double crochet stitch all the way around just like that okay and i will meet you at the end now that we're at the end we're going to slip stitch to that first stitch and we're going to fasten it off and we're going to thread our yarn needle and we're going to weave it in and you can um, go ahead and when you finish this go ahead and work on your second sleeve Okay, so that's what the sleeve looks like. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.